Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> 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 Oh, 
seven of the yellow booklets, or six. Mary Hospodevi Pomolim Sa. Oh, day of resurrection, let us beam with festive joy. O Pasch, O Pasch of the Lord, for from death to life, from earth to heaven, Christ our God has led us who sing the hymn of victory. Christ is risen from the Let all visible and invisible creation have its own celebration. For Christ is risen, our everlasting joy. Not one miraculously drawn from barren rock, but from the fountain of incorruption from the grave of Christ. For in him is our strength. Christ is risen from the dead. Christ is risen. Christos Mastras. Christos Mastras. Christos Mastras. Christ is risen from the dead. Yesterday I was buried with you, O Christ. Today I rise with your arising. Yesterday I was crucified with you. Let me share the glory, O Savior, with you in your kingdom. Oh, let us seek and be 
Together, before dawn, the women came with Mary and found the stone rolled away from the grave and heard from the angel, Why seek among the dead as if he was a man, him who lives in everlasting life? Behold the cloth with which they wrapped him. Go and tell the world that the Lord is risen and has slain death, for he is the Son of God who saves us all. Page 19, Ode 6. You have descended into the world beneath and shattered the everlasting chains which held the prisoners captive, O Christ. But on the third day, like Jonah from the whale, you came forth from the grave. Christ is risen from the dead. In rising from the grave, O Christ, you left the seals of your eternal attack, preserving the birth that keeps over Savior, as God you are a living and indestructible sacrifice, yet you willingly offered yourself to the Father, and when you rose from the grave, you also raised up Adam, the father of our race. Mary Hospodu pomolim sa. Zaste pesme se pomelo kredi nas Bože tvoje je vladatju. Zaste pesme se the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever. Amen. Although you descended into the grave, O immortal one, you destroy the power of hell. You arose again as a victor, O Christ our God. You announced to the murmuring women rejoice. You gave peace to your apostles and resurrection to the fallen. Having seen the resurrection of Christ, let us adore the Holy Lord Jesus, the only And your holy resurrection we praise. 
and glorify for you are our God. We know no other besides you. We call on your name. Oh, come all you faithful. Let us worship Christ, holy resurrection. For by the cross joy has come to all the world. Ever blessing the Lord. Let us praise his resurrection. Having endured crucifixion, he conquered death by death. Jesus rose from As he foretold, gave us eternal life and a bountiful mercy. Page 25, Ode 8. This is the chosen and holy day, the foremost of Sabbaths, their King and Lord, the Feast of Peace and festival of festivals, when all of us bless Christ forever. Christ is risen from the dead. Christos was grass. Christos was grass. Keep singing. Christos was grass. Christ is risen. Christos was grass. Look round, O Sion, for your children, ha children come to you radiant with divine light from the west and the north, from the sea and the east, blessing Christ in you forever. Let us bless the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and always and forever. Amen. Almighty Father, Word and Spirit, the chosen and holy day, the foremost of Sabbaths, their King and Lord, the Feast of Feast and Festival of Festivals, when all of us bless Christ forever. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death unto those in the tombs, giving life. Let us greatly extol the Mother of God and the Mother of Light in Him.
How divine, how loving, how most sweet is your voice. You have truly promised to remain with us to the end of time, O Christ. Holding fast to this promise as to an anchor of hope, we faithful rejoice. Christ is risen from the Jerusalem, for the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Exalt now and be glad, O Zion, and you, O chaste mother of God, take delight in the resurrection of your Son. enemies be scattered. The holy past has today appeared to us. The new and sacred past, the mystic past, and all venerable past, the past which is Christ's Redeemer, the immaculate past, the great past, the past of the people, the past that opens the gates of paradise to us, the past that sanctifies all the people. As smoke vanishes, let them vanish. Come from that scene, O heralding women, and say to Zion, receive from us the glad tidings of joy, of the resurrection of Christ. Exalt, rejoice, and be glad, O Jerusalem. Sing Christ the King as a bridegroom. Come forth from the grave. Let sinners perish from the presence of God, but let the righteous rejoice. The myrrh-bearing women at early dawn came to the grave of the life-giver. They found an angel sitting on the stone, and he spoke to them, saying, Why seek the living among the dead? Why we for the incorruptible amid corruption. Go proclaim the news to his disciples. This is the day that which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. The Pasch of delight, the Pasch of the Lord, the all-venerable Pasch has dawned upon us. The past when with joy we embrace one another. O oh, past.
ask our deliverance from sorrow. For today Christ shone forth from the grave as from a palace and filled the women with joy, saying, Proclaim the news to the apostles. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and ever, amen. O day of resurrection, let us be with celebration, and embracing one another. servants through Moses when Israel was leaving Egypt and your people were freeing themselves in the bitter slavery of the Pharaoh to kill a lamb, which was the symbol of a lo another lamb, Jesus Christ, who of his own free will has suffered death and taken the sins of the world upon himself. He was your beloved son and our Lord Jesus Christ. We humbly implore you today, look down upon this bread, sanctify, bless, and sanctify it, standing before your majesty on this splendid, glorious, and salvific Easter day. We, your servants, offer this bread in honor, glory, and commemoration of the glorious resurrection of your Son and our Lord Jesus Christ, who has freed us from the devil's slavery and from the unbreakable hellish chains, and thus has secured freedom and salvation for us. Make us who offer you this bread, who consume it, partakers of your heavenly blessing by your power, free us from every pain and sickness, and grant to all of us health, because you are the source of all blessings and the cause of every cure. For this reason, we give glory to the Father who has no beginning, together with your only begotten Son and your holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. This Aratos is blessed and sanctified by this holy water in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We continue with our Divine Liturgy in the Black Booklets on page 31, page 31. All who have been baptized into Christ. 
For you, our God, are holy, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Let us be attentive. This is the day of the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love is everlasting. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Wisdom. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Be seated and listen attentively. In my first account, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up to heaven, having first instructed the apostles he had chosen through the Holy Spirit. In the time after this, his suffering, he showed them in many convincing ways that he was alive, appearing to them over the course of 40 days and speaking to them about the reign of God. On one occasion, when he met with them, he told them not to leave Jerusalem. Wait rather for the fulfillment of my father's promise, of which you have heard me speak. John baptized with water, but within a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. While they were with him, he, they asked, Lord, are you going to restore the rule to Israel now? His answer was, the exact time is not yours to know. The father has reserved that to himself. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes down to you. Then you are able to be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, yes, even to the ends of the earth. It's with you, Daryl. Wisdom, let us be attentive. Stand or right, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. A reading of the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you, 
Let us be attentive. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning. Through Him all things came into being, and apart from Him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in him found life, life for the light of men. The light shines on in darkness, a darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John sent by God who came as a witness to testify to the light so that through him all might believe. <laughs> But only to testify to the light, for he himself was not the light. The real light which gives light to everyone was coming into the world. <laughs> He was in the world, and through him the world was made. Yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet his own did not accept him. Any who did accept him, he empowered to become children of God. These are they who believe in his name. Who were begotten not by blood nor by carnal desire, nor by man's willing it, but by God. The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us, and we have seen His glory, the glory of an only Son coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. John testified to him by proclaiming, This is he of whom I said, The one who comes after me ranks ahead of me, for he was before me. Of his fullness we have all had a share love following upon love. For while the law was given through Moses, this enduring love came through Jesus Christ. everyone.
Well, welcome everyone. Vitaimo and Christos Voskras. Happy Easter to all of you. What a great blessing it is to be together and to be uh, full in a church which is full. What a great blessing for that. And so thanks for your presence and for taking some time to celebrate, to celebrate uh, this Easter 2024. You know, there was a dear old lady. She knew that she was about to die. And she asked her priest to come and give her the sacrament of the anointing of the sick. And after being anointed, she said, Soon I'll be rocking in the bosom of Moses. No, dear, corrected the pastor. The Bible says the bosom of Abraham. She replied, Father, at my age, you don't care too much whose bosom it is. <laughs> And then there was a funeral director who called a man for further instructions about his mother-in-law's burial. And he said, do you want her embalmed or cremated? And he said, both. I don't want to take any chances. <laughs> and finally, a pastor is visiting a terminally ill sick parishioner in the hospital. And as he started consoling the patient, the sick man said, don't worry about where I'm heading to, Father. I have friends in both places. <laughs> The reason for this litany of jokes this morning is that according to one ancient Christian tradition, the day of Easter was devoted to telling jokes. Why is that? The reason was to reflect the joke that God pulled on Satan in the resurrection. Satan thought he had won on Friday, but God had the last laugh on Easter Sunday, which we celebrate today. And for us Christians, remember that Easter is a day of joy. It's a day of joy because of, on this day, all the saints and angels of heaven rejoice for us, Christos Voskras. On this beautiful Easter Sunday, our joy is manifested in many ways. It's manifested through our presence at today's celebration. It is manifested in the warmth of our homes, where family members and friends have been invited to this a great feast of babka and pasca and eggs and cheese and khreen and sausage, kuvasa and hopefully lots of chocolate. It's manifested in the laughter of little children, perhaps playing games with their parents or grandparents today. For some children, this special relationship is a rare opportunity because sometimes during the year we forget to make ourselves little so we can share in the joy of our little ones. So no matter where we live and what we contend with daily, all of us need the presence of the risen Lord in our lives. Don't forget to accept his real presence daily so that you and I can live our life to the fullest. The good news for us today is that we are here to experience the power of Easter and the joy of Christ's resurrection. So don't look so sad today. We're celebrating today. The time of fasting is over. The feasting of the Easter season begins. The 50 days of Easter celebrations last until Pentecost Sunday. And these days are meant to be a celebration, for a new life has emerged from death with Christ's resurrection. This is why we do not kneel at all during the Easter season when we come to church because we are raised to new life in Christ. And so will Easter make a difference for you and for me? Will our lives change today from the way they were just last week? Perhaps we will wake up tomorrow and we will go about the same routines of our daily lives. Don't do that. Don't go and have a breakfast, go for coffee, and then go back home for lunch, and then repeat and repeat and repeat. Some will go off to work, some will have to do daily household chores, and some will contemplate what they will do with the long hours of the day. Maybe nothing will have changed. The stone, brothers and sisters, has been rolled back. And however, in our busy, pressure-packed lives, it can be hard to keep celebrating with the intensity that Easter invites of us. This invites our reflection. How will we be possibly ready for the celebration of, of heaven if we have difficulty celebrating the joys 
of our faith and our life here on earth. Easter should and does make a difference, even in our daily lives. Because of Easter, we live as children of resurrection. Easter does not mean that life will follow predictable directions. We will continue to be a wandering pilgrim people. But because of Easter, we rest assured that Jesus walks with us on every path, every path that we take in life, because he has been down those roads himself. So let's live the joy of Easter each day to the fullest. Let's make special effort to reach out to those people who do not share our joy. Especially, let us reach out to those who have been forgotten. Let us all go forth from this church today in the spirit of the risen Lord and bring the joy of Jesus to all those who touch our lives and to those whose lives we touch. Christos Vaskras. Let us all say with our whole soul and mind, let us say... Almighty Lord God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy on us, O God, in the greatness of your compassion. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, we also pray for our most holy universal pontiff, Francis, Pope of Rome, Beatitude, Patriarch, Zyatislav, most Rev. Metropolitan, Lawrence, our God, the Bishop Michael. For those who serve and have served in this holy church, for our spiritual fathers and mothers, and all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. We also pray for our nation under God, our government, and those who serve and protect our country. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Ukraine and all those places in the world affected by war and violent conflict. We pray for peace, for reconciliation and hearing, healing. Lord, hear us and have mercy. people here present to await your great and bountiful mercies for those who have been kind to us and for our Orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. You are merciful and loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now, forever, and ever. Let the faithful pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Wisdom, so that always protected by your might, we may give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever.
the Lord God remember in his kingdom our holy ecumenical pontiff Francis Pope of Rome, his beatitude our patriarch Sietislav, the most reverend Metropolitan Lawrence, our God of Bishop Michael, all the priestly diaconal religious orders, our nation under God, our government, and those who serve and protect our country, the noble and ever to be remembered, founders and benefactors of this holy church, and all you Christians of the true faith, now and forever and ever. Let for Nashu Hospodavi. Sapri Nesli Jason today was for Devi Pomolim Sass. Let us love one another so that we may be of one mind in confessing. Today, especially today, is a, a chance to turn to your neighbor and say, Christos vos Christ, Christ is risen. Christos vos Christ. The doors, the doors in wisdom. Let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, one in being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us, for our salvation, came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, who was born of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our Savior was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and died and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life who proceeds from the Father, with the Father, and the Son, and the Lord, worship the Lord, he has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sin. I will look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand with awe, let us be attentive to offer in peace the holy oblation. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord. Cherubim, the seraphim, six winged and many eyed, hovering aloft in their wings, singing, crying, exclaiming, and saying, 
the triumphal he. and broke it, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the forgiveness of sin. Like matter the cup. Drink of it, all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Remembering therefore this holiday commandment, all of us that for us to cross the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascent of the heavens, sitting at the right hand, the Son of glory is coming. We offer to you, yours of your own, in behalf of all and for all. so that they may be for the communicant, sobriety of soul, forgiveness of sins, fellowship of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom from heaven, confidence before you, not for judgment or condemnation. Further, we offer you this rational worship for those who have gone to their rest in faith. Forefathers, fathers and mothers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and every righteous soul that has finished this life in faith. Especially for our most holy and immaculate, most blessed and glorious lady, the mother of God and ever Virgin Mary. Remember, O Lord, our most holy universal pontiff, Francis, Pope of Rome, Beatitude, Patriarch, Sietislav, our most reverend, Metropolitan, Lawrence, or God, the being Bishop Michael, for the sake of your holy churches, grant that they may live in peace, safety, honor, and health for many years, and rightly impart the word of your truth. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and sing the praises of your most honored and magnificent name, Father. Son and Holy Spirit, now forever and ever. Amen. May the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit.
Ik zet ik nu zesde is stap met de hospoda weer pomol in Make us worthy, O Master, with confidence and without condemnation, to dare call you the heavenly God, our Father, and Savior. Kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now, forever and ever. Amen. Peace be with all. Seize on loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your most holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now, forever, and ever. Amen. Let us be attentive. The holy things for the holy. Page 297. 
I'm sorry, 197. If you've never received the Eucharist in a Byzantine Catholic church before, remember that if you're a Roman Catholic, we are in communion. Our churches are in communion. However, the communion is distributed very differently, and there's a proper way to receive. And this goes for some people who've been receiving their whole life. You do not have to go down like this, folks. Stand up straight. Hands over your heart. Open your mouth wide. Even if you're this tall, we can reach up and, and get you. So stand up straight. Open your mouth wide, keep your tongue in your mouth and your t uh, head tilted back like you're at the dentist. Uh, keep your mouth open and we'll place the communion directly into your mouth. You need not reply with amen. You simply receive and then go back to your seat. If you're not receiving today, come forward for a blessing and have your head down so we know to give you a blessing. And finally, remember, today Christ is risen. So when you go back to your seat, don't go back and sit down. Remain standing until everyone is received because together we are all people of resurrection. Approach with the fear of God, with love, and with faith, Christ is risen. Christ. Oh. 
O God, and bless your inheritance, Christos Poskras. We are sanctification and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. You bless those who bless you, O Lord, and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the fullness of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house and glorify them by your divine power. Do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, to our nation, under God, our government, and to all your people. For all good giving, 
And every perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. And we give glory, thanks, and worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead, traveling death by death. Thanks everyone for your presence here today. If you are, have brought a basket to bless, please go downstairs after the liturgy and as, once I get everything wrapped up here, we'll come down and we'll bless the basket and you'll be on your way. Um, please, if you could, uh, could the yellow booklets, uh, please return them. Uh, there'll be a basket or uh, the, the, the boxes at the back. Return them on your way downstairs or on your way out the door. That would help us out a lot. Next Sunday, after the 9.30 liturgy, there will be a special meeting for our membership, a special meeting, because we need to determine a vendor who will, um, to replace the, and resurface our parking lot outside. It's time for that to be restored. And so that's a special meeting next Sunday after the 9.30 liturgy. Please uh, attend that uh, as you can. And finally, for those of you uh, who are in grade girls, who are in grade six, seven, or eight, or if you have daughters in that grade or granddaughters, we're beginning a program here called My Beloveds. Anna Miller, who is a member of our parish, she's, she's developed a program for young girls to help them grow in their faith and to help them to grow as human persons. And so that will be given shortly. There's information at the entrance of the door and in the bulletin, so please be attentive to that. That sounds like a great opportunity. I wish I was a young girl in grade six, seven, or eight to do that because it sounds so awesome. So please uh, take advantage of that opportunity. Is anybody celebrating a birthday or something special this week? Who is? John Abramitz. Happy birthday, John. Okay, anybody else? Evelyn tomorrow. Evelyn tomorrow and Bev? Oh, Dwayne Fedorik. Okay, Dwayne, happy birthday to you. Anybody else? Kaylin Harris Simchuk, happy birthday. And who? And Dodi Abramitz, okay. And Debbie Sachuk, happy birthday to you. Anyone else? And Desiree. And Desiree. Well, thanks for coming to church, Desiree. Way to go. Birthday blessings. That's awesome. Make a point, folks. If there's somebody next to you that you've never met before, Introduce yourself. Our community is a welcoming community, and those of you who are here for the first time, we want to, you to come back. So know that you are very welcome, and thanks for your presence here today. Who else said they had a birthday? Who is that, Helena? Happy birthday, Helena. No hayalita lita, no hayalita, no hayalita lita, no hayalita. Thanks to our choir, what a great job. A nice innovation at the end there. <laughs> but that's awesome. It was all for the greater glory of God. Thank you to our servers, to our welcomers, and all of you. The blessing of the Lord be upon you with his grace and love for all of us now, forever and ever. Amen. Glory be to you, O Christ our God, our hope. Glory be to you. our true God, risen from the dead, through the prayers of his Immaculate Mother, of our Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, and all the saints, will have mercy and save us, for he is good and loves all of us. <laughs> Christ is risen. Christos was Christ is risen from the dead. Tram
trampling death by death, and to those in the tombs giving life. Risen in glory. 